This is a very quick one, and I'm doing this in an effort to remain consistent, especially after I said that I was going to be consistent in uploading videos, and then the very next week, I didn't upload shit. <laughs> so this month, April uh, 2023, it actually marks the 10-year anniversary of my third book, Orange Mound. And I actually uh, posted about this a couple of weeks ago because I'd forgotten. <laughs> I totally forgot. And, um, you know, social media memories popped up and it was just like, yeah, you know, remember you had your book release party at this spot? And I was like, oh, man, I did. I had my book release party. So for Orange Mound, I had my book release party at Hank's Saloon in Brooklyn. Where was Hanks? I mean, near Atlantic Center. Near Atlantic Center. <laughs> but my buddy Brian, rest in peace to Brian, he at the time was, you know, just like booking events for Hanks Saloon. It's a dirty rock and roll dive bar. And we decided to have my book release party there. And uh, I'll actually link to it, um, like up here. But uh, you know, I had a reading and my boys ER and basically at the time known as the Vagabonds, you know, they happened to be in town and they were able to uh, perform live at Hank's because, you know, Hank's had a little stage, you know, for performances and everything. And the thing about Orange Mound, when I released the book, uh, I also, much like I did with my first book, Guest List, I also released a soundtrack and the Vagabonds were on the soundtrack. So it was just really cool to, to have, you know, have them perform and, you know, the soundtrack is out for this book. Yeah. You know, I'm really proud of this novel. And like I said, 10 years, it's 10 years old. And the Orange Mound is actually my most successful book. Guest List got like a lot of acclaim. You know, it was the first one. People were excited because it's the first one. So people, of course, are excited and they're going to support. Uh, my second book, Kisses for Tati, for a very long time, that was my highest selling book. But, you know, we cheated because, you know, it's a very small kind of, you know, what we called a novelette. And at one point, it was being sold for like 99 cents on Amazon. Yeah, I think it might still be 99 cents on Amazon. But at one point, it was 99 cents on Amazon. And, you know, people aren't, they're like, all right, you know, they'll, they'll drop a dollar on a book. You know, they'll give it a shot. Orange Man was a slow burn, but it picked up some traction and people got into it. And you know, a lot of people have told me that they like it. You know, I'm just like, okay, you know, very cool. Awesome. I wrote Orange Mound kind of as a, a reaction to the so-called, um, to so-called like urban fiction, right? When Guest List first came out, everyone was just like, oh, is this, you know, is it urban fiction? Is it a hood book? And while I have absolutely no problem, no issue with like those types of, of books, those types of novels, that's not what I was writing. And, you know, it kind of pissed me off. That's just like, well, is that you know, is that what you think is that, you know, the only stories we can tell are those kind of stories or it's just kind of like, what are you, what are you, what are you saying here? So I was like, well, you know what, because I have no problem with hood books, hood fiction, I'm going to write my own version of hood fiction. And that's what Orange Mound was supposed to be. And so I'm really surprised that the response that it, it's got, you know, like, and from the people, you know, who've, who've said stuff, you know, and from the reviews, you know, it's just like, you know, they, folks dig it. Quick, fast pace, you know, thriller, dealing with drug dealers and, and all sorts of, you know, the shit that comes with that. It's like, all right, okay, all right. Couple things that I want to tell y'all about Orange Bell. The title comes from the neighborhood that I grew up in, in Memphis, Tennessee. Just want to pay homage to my hometown and my old hood and orange mound. Hey, hey, baby. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So that's uh, that's where the title comes from. And the setting of the story, it mostly takes place in a fictionalized version of Orange Mound. Uh, there are some things that I do mention that are absolutely for real. But then there are also some things that I made up for the purposes of the story. And, you know, another little tidbit, a lot of people have been like, hey, Jay, you know, why don't you uh, why don't you adapt Orange Mound? You know, why don't you write it as a screenplay? And the funny thing is that Orange Mound actually began life 
as a screenplay. And it began life as a screenplay a long, long time ago. I'm talking and I'm about to tell my age uh, with this story. I had just finished school. I was uh, still very optimistic and, you know, wrapping things up my senior year of college and thinking that uh, the script that I had out there um, circulating the industry, If Love Dies, and I'll put a card up in the corner so that you can see that story as well. But, you know, I'm thinking that If Love Dies is going to take off and, you know, I'm still really optimistic about what's going to happen and my life is going to change. Like, you know, I'm going to go straight from college into the industry. Wow, this is amazing. And none of that shit happened. But in the meantime, you know, in, in thinking and hoping, you know, for the best, I'm still writing. And I had this idea and I was like, all right, let me write. And the idea came from a song by Nelly. Yes, that that Nelly, Country Grammar, Dilemma, <laughs> Air Force Ones, that same Nelly. Tip Drill, that same Nelly. So the song was on his second album, the Nellyville album. And the song is titled The Gank. And it's more of like, you know, I don't want to say it's a ballad, but he's not he's not rapping in the song like he's doing his little singing thing. But the song is basically a story of a hustler who meets a woman and she not only steals his heart, but she also like steals his drug stash and his money and everything like that, <laughs> which is why the song is titled the gank. He got ganked for everything. I thought that was a really just kind of like smart, you know, just kind of like play on things, on expectations, but also just like, yeah, you know, you, she stole my heart, but she also, you know, she also robbed me. And I thought that was an interesting premise for a story. So I wrote a screenplay back then, that's what, 2002, 2003, called The Gank. And yeah, you know, for, I just hung on to it, didn't, never did anything with it. When everything, uh, went to shit with If Love Dies, you know, I stopped writing for a long time. And it wasn't until, you know, like, you know, I'd moved to New York and I started writing again. And with the success of Guest List and Kisses for Tati, it was like, all right, what is the next one going to be? And I don't know. I, I kind of felt the pressure to get something out ASAP. And I had the script. I had, still had the gank. And it was a story that I still liked. I still liked the characters. And so I decided to adapt the screenplay as a novel. And I mean, I made hella changes, you know, hella character changes. The setting was different. I don't even remember like where the script was set. It might have been set in like Miami or it might have been set in L.A., uh, but it's well, certainly the original script was not set in Memphis. And, you know, that took a lot of, like that just caused a lot of changes and everything. But that is how Orange Mound was born. It was it was originally a screenplay that I'd written called The Gank. And so when people are just like, oh, it reads like a movie, you know, it's very cinematic. It moves. You know, I think it would be it would be great, you know, for the silver screen or whatever. It's because its origins, it's very cinematic because its origins, <laughs> you know, are, are in that mode of storytelling. That's the, that's the mind frame that I was in when I crafted this story. And I, I do want to say, because a lot of people do ask me, they're just like, uh, what's the difference between writing novels and writing screenplays? I mean, they're just different. They're just different disciplines. You really have to be in, in, in a certain mindset to write a novel and you have to be in a different mindset to write a screenplay. And even though they're both storytelling and they're, you know, you, you will use similar techniques in both disciplines, they are still radically different. And so for something like this, like it wasn't as easy as just like transcribing the screenplay into novel format. Like, that's not what it is. Like, it really is taking the story apart, reconstructing it, rethinking everything. And so even though, like with Orange Mound, it hits all of like, for the most part, the same beats as my original screenplay did, it's still a different story. It's still a different story with different characters and a different sensibility. And, um... It really is its own thing. And that's, you know, that's adaptation. That's, if you're going to adapt a book into a screenplay, same thing. You can't just take chunks from the book and write it out in screenplay format and think that that's, that's what it is. No, you gotta, you have to really think about the story, the characters, 
what's important, what you should focus on. And there are going to be some inevitable changes. Like you're, you're going to insert a lot of different shit <laughs> into your adaptation, whether it's your book or you're adapting someone else's book. There are just going to be some changes. So just be prepared for that. So but yeah, friends, that's it. You know, I just wanted to talk about Orange Mound, 10 years. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of it. It's my baby. So if any of you are interested, I will leave a link to, uh, to where you can buy the book <laughs> below. That'd be cool. If you check it out, let me know what you think. And who knows, maybe one day, um, maybe one day I will adapt it for the big screen. Well, readapt. Well, it's already a script. Now it's a book. So maybe I might adapt the book for the big screen. You guys know what I mean. Y'all know. Y look, y'all know what I mean. <laughs>